So you're posting on YouTube Shorts, but you're not getting enough views? I'm going to show you how to go viral on YouTube Shorts with just AI. I know what you're thinking. It sounds a little bit sketchy. Don't believe us? Here's your proof. is to use ideas that you've already seen working and just put your own spin on it. I then always research keywords related to that topic that I use in my title and description. Search for some phrases in TubeBuddy and try looking for keywords with a high search volume but low competition. I also fill my tags with these phrases as well. And it's easy to forget that YouTube Shorts get recommended on the homepage, in the sidebar next to other videos, and they appear in search results as well. Strategizing to post five videos is just the start because you have to make sure your video topic has potential. So how do you find these topics? Let's jump to the tool and see how it works. The Keyword Inspector gives you a vidIQ score, which combines search volume and competition to indicate the potential success of the topic. Let's say true crime. True crime has a high search volume, but also high competition. So we gotta dig a little deeper. Refine your search. Look for related keywords with better potential. Use the related keywords to explore more specific niches. You might come across true crime mysteries unsolved, which has a high vidIQ score, indicating that it's a trending topic with less competition. So this way, you've not only identified a popular trend, but also refined it to find a specific angle that gives you the best chance for success. Wait, 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 wait. This is a total game changer. You want to make sure that you're paying attention to when it comes to the length of your content. First and foremost, I would never upload a YouTube short that is less than eight seconds long. If you do this, it's going to drastically decrease the odds YouTube actually pushes out your content. For example, if you wanted to come in right now and you wanted to make a piece of content around Taylor Swift, you could go type in Taylor Swift and to find some short, find recently uploaded videos, click on this, and then what you need to do is change shorts. You need to change this to watch, and then you'll be able to see exactly how long the video is. Because if you don't create content that's in a similar length, then guess what? YouTube isn't going to classify your content as something that the audience wants to watch, and then they're just not going to push out your content. Start with throwing spaghetti at the wall. If you have short form content on your Instagram or TikTok, start repurposing that to YouTube Shorts and schedule it out to post every single day for the next 30 days. To remove watermarks from your TikTok videos, you're going to go to snaptick.app, and to remove watermarks from your Instagram Reels videos, you're gonna to go to snapinsta.app. And then you can go back, study your analytics for those videos, test to see what was the drop-off point, which videos had the most watch time, and start to recreate the things that were working well. Wait, so you're telling me that there's a way to remove the TikTok and Instagram watermark? I cannot even begin to tell you how many videos I've had to redo just to get rid of those. This is crazy. If you wanna go viral on social media, check out our other videos Make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more content like this. Video GPT by V lets you type a text prompt into ChatGPT and generate a video from scratch. So I put all of the same information into the AI and generated a video inside the V video editor, where you can see that it's recorded a voiceover, added some stock footage and some animated subtitles purely based on what I wanted to see. And to be honest, for something that took five minutes, the results are actually pretty good. Ever wondered what secrets lie behind the gates of Area 51? Remember, going viral isn't just about luck. It's about strategy and consistency. If you found these helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Good luck!